Hello, good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, good evening, Maynard. How are you? Very good, teacher. And you? Nice, very nice. Very nice to hear that you're good. And I'm giving you a big welcome in the name of English Corporativo. Okay. Welcome to my class, okay? Okay, thank you. Good, let's wait to see how many students are going to connect tonight. Okay. Cool, cool.
Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Nancy. Welcome to the class. Thank you. How are you today? Great, and you? Nice, nice, as usual. <laughs> uh, just <laughs> waiting for everybody to come. Welcome to the class in the name of English Corporativo. Giving you a big welcome, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. All right. Um, maybe everybody is coming. I it's already eight o two, so let's wait a little bit, okay? Maybe if I may, I'm going to send a message on the group. Maybe that way. Let me see. Okay, here they come, here they come. Okay, so I'm going to start right now because it's 8.05. So let me just start with the ones who are right now connected. I only have three connected, Nancy, Luis, and Maynard. I'm giving you a big welcome in the name of English Corporativo. Welcome to my class, guys. Welcome. I hope that today you learn a lot of good things, okay? Um, so as you can see, I'm already sharing my, my PowerPoint presentation, and that's what we did yesterday. Okay, we mm -hmm. were talking about how to use tell and ask tell and ask so for that let me just explain a little bit about how to do tell and ask and there is a little rule that you need to follow in order to use tell and ask so let's see oh i see beatrice welcome beatrice to the class giving you a big welcome in the name of english corporativo so thank you for joining all right so let's see what is this all about let me show you this. There it is. Okay, so there it is. How to use tell? And tell, we use it to leave a message. Okay, so remember, tell is when we want to leave a message. In this case, um, as we have shown in, in, in there, so, for example, check out what is the statement. The class starts at 3. But when we leave a message, we say, please tell Tony that the class starts at 3. So the statement is the class starts at 3. Uh, what is a statement? Do you, do you guys remember what is a statement? You mm have -hmm. it in Nancy? And Flor, you have to remember, uh, what is a statement? I, I was like 
two models ago, I was explaining this. Do you guys remember? Mm. In, in Spanish is? Aseveraciones. So, mm. so the, the number one, the class starts at three, that's in a statement. But when we want to leave a message, we say, please tell Tony that the class starts at three. That is a message. Let's go with the next um, statement. We have a party tomorrow. But when we want to leave a message, we say, could you tell Tony that we have a party tomorrow? Good. And let's go for number three, example number three. The teacher is not coming. So when we, when we want to pass the message, we say, would you tell Tony that the teacher is not coming? Do you guys understand the difference? So number one, the first part is a statement, and then we convert it into, um, to, into a message. So we say, please tell Tony, could you tell Tony, and would you tell Tony, okay? Okay. Good, everybody please read this, everybody, everybody read. You tell to leave a message. You tell to leave a message. The class is starting at two. The class is starting at three. We have a party tomorrow. tomorrow. Could you tell Tony that we have a party tomorrow? The teacher is not coming. Could you tell Tony that the teacher is not coming? The teacher is not coming. Good, good. So as you can see, there we're using tell to leave a message. Remember, so we're going to be using tell to leave a message. And as the example says, uh, the statement is the class starts at three, but when, when we want to leave a message, we say, please tell Tony that the class starts at three. Okay? okay. Cool, cool. Any questions here? Do you guys understand? Yes, teacher. Good, good. All right, let's move on. So this is how to use tell to leave a message. Now let's go to the second part, which is ask. Let's check it out. Okay, when a message is actually a request, use ask. What is a request? Do you guys know what is a request? Pregunta, no? No. Pregunta is question. What? So what is a request? Anybody, anybody? Solicitud o... Very good. Solicitud o pedido. Solicitud o pedido. So when you want to make a request, cuando usted quiere solicitar algo a alguien, usted va a utilizar ask. Veamos el ejemplo. El primero es el statement. Veamos el statement. Uh, let's check out the statement. Bring the sodas for the party. Trae las sodas para la fiesta. That's an statement. Okay, so when we want to make a request, we use ask. In the second part, we use ask to make a request. Please ask Tony to bring the sodas for the party. Please ask Tony to bring the sodas for the party. And that is a request using ask. Now let's go for the second example. The first part is the, um, the statement. Pick up my books from school. Pick up my books from school. Ve a recoger mis libros de la escuela. And when we want to make it a request, we use ask, and it goes like this. Could you ask Tony to pick up my books from school? Could you ask Tony to pick up my books from school? And there is a request. Estamos haciendo una petición. ¿Le podrías decir a Tony que recoja mis libros de la escuela? That's how it goes. Let's go for number three, example number three. And the statement goes, close the windows when he leaves. Cierre las ventanas cuando se vaya. So we want to make it into a request. So we use ask, and it goes like this. Would you ask Tony to close the windows when he leaves? ¿Le puedes decir a Tony que cierre la ventana cuando se vaya? Got it? And mm -hmm. there, that's how we use eh, a request using ask. Cuando hacemos una petición, tenemos que hacerlo con ask. Do you guys understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, any questions up to this point? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta este momento? 
No, we're good. Okay, everybody reading everything here, please. When a message, a message, when a message is actually a request, a message is actually a request. You bring the soda for the party. Ask Tony to bring the soda for the party. Ask Tony to bring the soda for the party. Got my books from school. Ask Tony to pick up my books from school. Close the window when he leaves. Close the window when he leaves. Close the window when he leaves. Very good, very good. And there we have it. The, those are the, the things that you need to do in order to use tell and ask. So those are the rules. Don't forget them, okay? So let's move on and let's see what we have next. And for the ones who are just connecting, getting connected to our class, welcome. I'm giving you a big welcome in the name of English Corporativo. Thank you for joining my class. I hope that tonight you 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 get some wisdom, you you get to learn something new, okay? And actually, you know, enjoy what we do, okay? Welcome to my class. Let's see. Moving on. And we have 5.9 knowledge check. Instructions. Look at the following scrambled sentences. Write down the entire message using the words in parentheses. Remember to use proper punctuation. Punctuation. One more time. Listen. 5.9 knowledge check. Instructions. Look at the following scrambled sentences. Write down the entire message using the words in parentheses. Remember to use proper punctuation. Everybody? 5.9. Let's check instruction. But the following is crumble sentence. And the entire word is current. This proper punctuation. To use proper punctuations. Good. Any questions in this uh, in this um, instruction? No questions. No. Cool. Moving on. Let's see what we have. Let's go to the knowledge check. Number one, tell you the movie at E7, Joel Cool. So what would be the answer here? Could you tell, could you tell? Joel. Could you tell jo Joel? The movie, the movie that, that is the movie. at, the movie, movie is, is at seven. 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 Remember that we add that, T-H-A-T. -T. Aquí le agregamos nosotros, le agregamos that. Ah, OK. Acuérdense. Eh, cierto que hubo, hubieron algunas cosas en la, en la, en la, in the platform, there was something wrong. Había algo mal en la plataforma que no lo, no lo entendí así. Así tiene que ser, porque así es la regla. Le tenemos que meter el that para que diga, Eh, dile que va, o sea, ese que tiene que agregarse, that, ok, so, tell Joel that the movie is at seven, it's at seven, tell Joel that the movie is at seven, everybody, could you could tell, could you tell, could you tell Joel the movie is at seven, seven. At seven. yes, could you tell Joel that the movie is at seven. Everybody. Tell Joe. Tell Joe. Is at seven. Could you tell Joel that the movie is at seven? One more time. Could you tell Joe that the movie is at seven? Good. And what is that in Spanish? What, what are we saying that and like that in Spanish? Puede decirle a Joel que la Que la película es a las siete. Yes. Ese que, por ese que, que decimos ahí, puedes decirle a Joel que la película es a las siete. Por ese que es que tenemos que aumentarle that. T-H-A-T. That. ¿Ok? ¿Entendimos? Sí. Yes. 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 Very good. Very good. Let's go for number two. As you for me to at around pick me up as wood home would you ask me to, 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 to pick me up 
to pick, pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me up. Around four. Around four. Around four. Around four. Around four. four. Yes. Would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home at around four? Como a las cuatro. At around. Como a las cuatro. At around four. Okay. Así es como se dice como a las cuatro. No, no diciendo la hora exacta. Okay. Puede ser antes de las cuatro o puede ser de las cuatro, pero no tampoco a las cuatro y media ni, ni las tres y media. Cerca, tiene que redondearse ahí. Ok, good. Ok, let's go for number three. Please cancel is Saturday on the concert Eva Tell. Please tell Eva that the concert on Saturday is canceled. Please tell Eva that the concert on Saturday is canceled. Everybody? Please tell Eva that the concert Saturday, Saturday is canceled. Very good. It's canceled. Remember, that, remember that to make the simple pass when you see ED or D, it's pasado simple or pasado participio. It doesn't matter. Siempre que termine con D, le hacen el, la pronunciación como T al final. Canceled. 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 Hacer el esfuerzo. Canceled. Okay. Cancel. Cancel. Very good. Let's go for the next part. Let's go for the next part. Four. Ask Jim you to bring the tickets tonight for the game the hockey would. Would you ask? Would you ask him to ask him to bring the to bring the ticket for the hockey game tonight? Okay. Yes. Okay. Would you ask Jim to bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight? Everybody. Would you ask, ask Jim to bring the ticket for the hockey games tonight? Hockey games tonight. Very good. Let's go for number five. Tomorrow morning, you and the museum at 10 open still wood. <laughs> Would you tell Anne that the museum at the museum tomorrow morning? Yes. Opens at 10 tomorrow morning. Yes. Would you tell Anne that the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning? Would you tell Anne that the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning? Everybody. Would you tell the museum opens at the museum tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning. Good. Number six. Twelve fifteen in front of the cafeteria. Jerry to me at us. Please ask everybody. Please, 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 so, I have forgotten that ad. So, please tell Jerry to meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. Everybody. Please ask Jerry to meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. Twelve fifteen, twelve fifteen, or a quarter after twelve. A quarter after twelve. That's how you say it. A quarter after twelve. Good. Let's see next. What we have next? Ooh, five point ten. This reading exercise will help you develop skills in summarizing and recognizing point of view. Everybody. 
Ooh, instructions, read the article, try to understand point of view of the writer. Okay, um, with this, I think I cannot show it because it has copyrights. So I cannot show that, but that's in the platform. You can see it in the platform, but not I cannot show it here because it has copyright. So uh, we're going to skip that. In, instead, we're going to do something. Remember, yesterday I told you that we're going to practice uh, the, the, present, uh, the present perfect today. Remember? Yeah. Yesterday yes, we were okay. practicing a, a simple future, was it, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yesterday we were practicing um, going, to. going to simple future. So today I want to practice present perfect. And we're going to use any regular verb. We're going to use any regular verb. So let's practice all together. If you can turn on your camera, let's do it, please. Let me just put this out. And I'm going to put this out because I cannot show that. I actually might get in trouble for that. Okay. Let's go with um, the present perfect. Number one, do you guys know what is the present perfect? Do you know what is the present perfect? Do you guys remember? Nancy, Ulises, Josabeth, Veronica, and Flor. Do you guys remember what is the present perfect? Action or verb? Yes, start, action or verb. Start and pass. It started in the past. Starting the past. Continue in the present. Continues in the present. Okay. May continue. Maybe continue in the future. There you go. Yes. So the present perfect is an action or verb that started in the past, continues in the present, and may continue in the future. So it has three different things because it's coming from the past, it is in the present. And you can use it in the future. That is the present perfect. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we need to be careful when we use the, the present perfect because it's actually, it's tricky sometimes. It is, sometimes it's really tricky. Oh, let me fix this. My bad. There it is. Now it's good. Okay. So the present perfect is an action or verb that started in the past continues in the present and may continue in the future. Okay, that's the present perfect. So if somebody asks you, what is the present, the present perfect, what are you going to, to answer? For example, Jenny, if I ask you, what is the present perfect, what are you going to answer? I don't understand that question, teacher. If somebody asks you, Jenny, what is the present perfect? Si alguien le pregunta, Jenny, ¿sabes qué es el presente perfecto? What are you going to answer? ¿Qué contestaría it's usted a, a eso? Is the action or verb uh, start in started, the past? Started. Started in the past, continue in the present, and may continue in future. In the future. In the future. Yeah, you did very good. Okay, let's see. As you as Maynor. Maynor. <laughs> Maynor, what is the present perfect? Maynor, what is the present perfect? No, estoy pidiendo right. <laughs> present perfect is action or verb. Yes. Present perfect is action or verb starting in the past. Starting in the past. In the present. Continues in the present. In the past. It might continue in the future. Yes, yes, very good, Maynard. Is an action or verb 
that started in the past, continues in the present, and may continue in the future. Very easy, right? Yeah. Future. Good. Nice. Yes. Easy. Easy does it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Maynor, as Beatriz. And Beatriz, she's that. <laughs> okay, Beatriz, what is the present perfect? It is an action or verb that started in the past, continues in the present, and may continue in the future. Thank you. Nice, Beatriz. That, that was nice. Okay, ask Luis Canales. Luis Canales, what is the person perfect? Action or verb that started in the past, it continues in the, in the present, and may continue in the future. Future, future. Future. Very good. Um, Luis, as um, Elena. Elena, what is the present perfect? Since action of work started in the past, continues in the present, and may continue in the future. Very good, very good. Ask Marianne. Marianne, what is the present perfect? The verb to start wait, wait. in the past. Is an action or verb? Is the action of verb start in the past, continue in the present, it may continue in the future? Okay, you need, you need a little practice, but we let it slide. It's good, it's good. Okay, Marianne, ask Flor. Flor, what is the present perfect? It's an action of verb that continue in the mm -hmm. past. No, no, no. It started <laughs> in the past. <laughs> Continue in the present and maybe continue in the future. And may continue, no maybe, and may continue in the future. Okay, um, Flor, as Nancy. Nancy, what is the present perfect? It's a nation of verb that started in the past, continue in the present, and may continue in the future. Good, Nancy, as Ulises. Ulises, what is the present perfect? The present perfect is an action or verb that is starting in the past, continuing the present, and may continue in the future. Very good. Ulises, ask Josabeth. Josabeth, what is the present perfect? Action or verb is starting in the past, continuing in the present, and maybe continue in the future. No, maybe, may, may, and uh, may continue maybe. in the future. Okay, may continue in the future. Good, ask Veronica. Veronica, what is the present perfect? Action verb started in the past and continue in the present and may continue in the future. Good, good. Okay, so now you know how to answer when somebody asks you, oh, do you know about this? What is the, the present perfect? Oh, yes, I know. It's an action that started in the past, continues in the present, and may continue in the future. Pero así ustedes como que, oh, I know it. That is grammar. <laughs> that is grammar, okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, mm, who was the last one? Um, Josabeth, right? No. ¿A quién, se le, se le, ¿Quién contestó de último? Verónica. Oh, Verónica. Verónica, ask Max. Max, what is in the present perfect? The present perfect is an action on a verb that started in the past, continue in the present, and may continue in the future. Very good. Nice, Max. Good, good. So, ahora todos ya sabemos qué contestar cuando alguien nos pregunte y nos quiera apantallar. Hey, ¿sabes qué es el presente, eh, presente perfecto? Claro que sí lo sé. Una acción que empezó en el pasado continúe en el presente y puede continuar en el futuro. ¿Ok? Good. Now, the next question is like, how are you going to answer to somebody who asks you, hey, um, how do you know or how do you recognize the present perfect? How do you recognize the present perfect? ¿Cómo reconocemos el presente perfecto? When we use the auxiliaries have and has. ¿Algo más? And plus participle. The part participle. Yes. Allí nos, en los, 
en los anteriores solo usábamos los, los, los auxiliares, en este usamos los auxiliares más el pasado participio de los verbos. Entonces, cuando alguien les pregunte, hey, what is the present, oh, no, how do we recognize the present perfect? Ustedes les van a contestar, because we use the auxiliaries, having has plus past participles. ¿Ok? Because we use the auxiliaries, ha, having has plus past participles. Repito. Because, because we, we use, use having has plus past participles. Because we use the auxiliary having has plus past participles. Otra vez. Because, because we, we use, use the auxiliary having Because we use the auxiliaries having has plus past participle. Otra vez. Because we use the auxiliaries have plus participle. Plus participle. Good, 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 good. Okay, so let's see. Vamos a comenzar con Ulises. Ulises, how do we recognize the present perfect? How do we recognize the present perfect? How do we recognize the present perfect? Ulises. Because we use the auxiliaries have and has plus past participle. Very good. Ulises, ask Josabet. Josabet, how we do recognize... How do we? The, how do we? How do we recognize the present perfect? Because we use auxiliary have the auxiliaries, and has... The auxiliaries the, is plural. The, auxiliar, the auxiliaries have and has... Plus verb, past participle. Plus past participle, no verb. Plus past participle. Uh, plus past, no, plus past participle. Yes, as Nancy. Uh, how do we recognize first and perfect? Because we use auxiliaries having has plus past participle. Good, as Veronica? Veronica, how do we recognize past The present perfect. <laughs> because we use because we use the auxiliary having has was past participle. Yes, as Max. Max, how do you recognize the how do present we? perfect? How do we? How, how do we recognize the present perfect? Because we use the auxiliaries have and has plus past participle. Good. As um, Jenny. Jenny, tell me, how we do recognize the present perfect? How do we, how do we? Sorry, because how do we recognize the present perfect? Because we use auxiliary has and has plus past participle. Wait, 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 Jenny. Because we use the auxiliaries have and has plus past participle. Otra vez. Because we use we use The auxiliaries, the auxiliaries, the auxiliary have do, no, ha having has, have and has, plus, plus past participle. Okay, as minor. Uh, how do you, minor, how do you, we recognize the present perfect? Porque me le puso un you extra. Es how do we recognize the present perfect? Mm. How do we recognize the present perfect? Oh, I see. Because we use the auxiliary have and has plus past participle. Very good. As Flor. Um, Flor, how do we recognize particip present participle? Ah, no. Maynard, how do we recognize <laughs> the present perfect? <laughs> yes, yes, excuse me. Uh, how do we recognize the present perfect? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because we use the having has, the, the auxiliary having has plus the past, past particip participle. Yes, yes. Okay, as um, Beatriz. Okay, Beatriz, how, how, we do, how do we how do we recognize the present perfect? Because we use the auxiliaries have and has plus past participle. Yes, as Elena. 
Elena, how do we recognize the present perfect? Because we use the auxiliaries have and has plus past participle. Good. As Luis, as Luis, yes, yes. Luis, how we? How do we? <laughs> Luis, how do we recognize the present perfect? Because we use the auxiliaries have and has plus past participle. Yes, as Marianne. Uh, who? Marianne. Marianne, who do you recognize mm. the present perfect? Wait, no, no. How do we? How do we? How do we recognize the present perfect? Because we use the auxiliaries. The auxiliaries have and has plus plus past participle. Past participle. 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 Okay, good. Uh, Marianne, as Max. As Max. Max, how do we recognize the, the present, present perfect? perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Because because we use the auxiliaries have and has plus past participle. Very good, very good. Okay, nadie se me quedó atrás. ¿A quién no le preguntamos? A todos le preguntamos, ¿sí? Good. Okay, so that's that. So we know what is the present perfect. We know how do we recognize them. Now let's go for number three. Mm -hmm. If somebody asks you, do you know what is the general question for the present perfect? What is the general question for the present perfect? ¿Qué contestarán? What have you done? What are you doing? No, Nancy, again? What have you done? Yes, Nancy, done. thank you, thank you. Done. What have you done? What have you done? What, what have, you, have done? you done? What have you done? Todos? What have you what done? Have you what, done? Have you what have you done? done? What have you 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 done? Very good. Yes. Um, so in Spanish, what is have what have you done? Que has hecho. Que has hecho. Que has hecho. Yes, que has hecho. That's it. So it's very different from the other tenses. All of them are very, very different. So there's no way you can get confused because they are very different and you need to understand that. Um, okay, so now we know what is the present perfect. We know how to recognize it. We know what is the, the, um, the general question. Now let's use it in, let's use it with a verb. Let, let's, do, let's, let's do it like that. Okay. I want to use, I want to use uh, an irregular verb. Let's use forget, forget. What is forget in Spanish? Olvidar. 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 Very good. Okay, so let's see. First, let's convert forget in the six tenses. Primero vamos a convertir forget en, las, en los seis tiempos. Para que vean su diferencia, ok? Look. Present okay. continuous. Forgetting. 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 Everybody, forgetting. 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 In Spanish? Olvidando. 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 Very good. Olvidando. Simple future. Going to forget. Going to forget. Everybody? Going, going, going to, forget. to forget. Going 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 to forget. In Spanish? Voy a olvidar. Voy a olvidar. Voy a olvidar. Voy a... Uh, y ahora, la, como dice José José, como decía José José, simple past. Forgot. Forgot. <laughs> olvidé. Forgot. Ya, ya olvidé. <laughs> so, forgot. Forgot. Everybody? Forgot. 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 Forgot.
Olvide. 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 Very good. Simple present. Forget. 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 Okay, I don't see Luis and Flor repet repetition. Flor and, and Luis repetition. Okay, um, what is forget in Spanish? Olvidar. Ol olvidar. 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 Okay, that's present. Olvidar. Okay, in present perfect. Forgotten. 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 Okay. In Spanish? Olvidado. 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 Let's go with past continuous. For was forgetting. Was forgetting. Was forgetting. Was forgetting. Was forgetting. In Spanish? Estaba olvidando. Estaba olvidando. Estaba olvidando. So, we did the conversion with the verb. We, you know, the conversion in six tenses. So you see the differences. Okay? Good? Now, let's use it in context. Let's use it in context. So we get forget. Plus, um, let's let's add here a compliment. For example, forget my ex. Ooh, <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> maybe no. Everybody's like, oh my god, tough crowd, tough crowd. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm forgetting my ex. I'm forgetting my ex. I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting my ex. Forgetting my ex. I'm going to forget my ex. I'm going, going to forget, forget my, my ex. ex. I'm going to forget my ex. I'm going, I'm going, going to forget, forget my, my ex. ex. I forgot my ex. I forgot, I forgot my, my ex. ex. I forgot my ex. I forgot my ex. Este quisiera que estuviera en este momento, pero no. Okay. Simple present. I forget my ex. I, I forget my ex. I forget my ex. I forget my ex. En esta quisiera estar. I have forgotten my ex. I have forgotten my ex. I have forgotten my ex. I, I have forgotten my, my ex. I was forgetting my ex. I was forgetting my ex. My ex. I was forgetting my ex. I was forgetting my ex. Forgetting my ex. Good. And there you have it. Uh, we, we convert the verb. We check it out in the six tenses. And now give an example in context in the six tenses. Very easy, right? And everybody's like, oh, no. maybe not. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's easy once you start doing it. It's very easy when you start doing it. Okay. So now let's go with the practice with the present perfect. So let's go with our, any regular verb. What, which irregular verb is giving you trouble? Which irregular verb gives you trouble? Uno que les dé guerra, que, like, it's very difficult for you. Uh, irregular verbs are not, are not really easy, but some shown. Time. What? Shown. Show, show, show. Uh, no, ajá. Show. Como de, ajá, no sé si se pronuncia shown o shown. In, in past participle, yes, shown, shown. Yes. Shown. But it's the very show, mostrar. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. For example, let's use it in context. Show. Mm, mm, show me dance. You can say, show me how to dance. Muéstrame cómo baila. Or show me the, the presentation. Or, or let's watch a show. So is in, in many different contexts, it's going to mean something different. Remember that one word in English 
in different contexts means something different. Una palabra en inglés, en muchos contextos, significa otras cosas. ¿Ok? So, ¿Cómo lo queremos usar? Mm. Mostrar. Ok, mostrar. Usémoslo como mostrar. ¿Ok? Show. Um, so, let's, let's use a presentation. The PPT. PowerPoint presentation. PPT. ¿Ok? So, let's see with Remember that and the um, WH questions, right? WH questions. But number one, the number one question that you need to do is the general question. Okay? So the general question is, what have you done? Everybody, what have you done? What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Good. And the answer is, I have shown the PPT to my students. I have shown the PPT to my students. Everybody. I have, I have shown, shown the PPT, the PPT to, to my, my students. students. My students. How, do you, how do you spell Sean? S-H-O-W-N. Yes, S-H-O-W-N. So after the W, only N. That's it, Sean, Sean. Okay? Sean. I have shown the PPT to my students. One more time. I have shown the PPT to my students. Good. Ulises, what have you done? I have shown the PPT to my students. Yes, as Beatriz. Beatriz, what have you done? I have shown the PPT to the student to my students. As Max. Max, what have you done? I have shown the PPT to my student. As Elena. Elena, what have you shown? shown? Sorry, no, sorry. No, no, what have you done? Sorry, sorry, what have you done? I've shown the PPT to my student. As Jenny. Jenny, what have you done? I have shown the PPT to my student. Uh, one more time, Jenny, please. I have shown the PPT to my student. Okay, Um, the thing is that we want to do it a little fast. Too many pauses, not good. No hacer muchas pausas. Okay, I have shown the PPT to my students. I have shown the PPT to my students. I have shown the PPT to my school student. <laughs> it's okay, you get it, you get it. Don't worry, it's the first time. Okay, Jenny, ask Maynor. Okay, Maynor, uh, what have you done? Maynor? What? What? Come on, la telenovela no. Por eso que no contesta Maynor, me está viendo la novela. Come on. Okay, um, Jenny, ask Nancy, please. Nancy, what have you done? I have shown the PPT to my student. Good. Ask Luis Canales, please. Luis Canales, what have you done? I have shown the PPT my, to my students. Ask Flor. Flor, what have you done? I have shown the PPT to my student. As Josabeth. Josabeth, what have you done? I have shown the PPT to my student. As Veronica. Veronica, what have you done? I have shown the PPT to my student. Uh, as Marianne. Marianne, what have you done? I have shown the PPT I, to my student. Shown, I have shown. Sean. Yes, I have shown the PPT to my students. I, I have shown the PPT to my students. No, me está diciendo dos veces tú. Es, I have shown the, no tú. I have shown the PPT uh, y después viene tú, my students. ¿Otra vez? I, I, I have shown. I have shown. The PPT. The PPT. To my student. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right. Um, a todos le preguntamos, sí. 
Yes. Okay, good. So, what is the next obvious question? Remember, you need to remember the obvious questions. When? Okay, when? What okay. Time? Yes, remember that. So, let's go when. When have you shown the PPT to your students? When have you shown the PPT to your students? Todos? When, when have the you PPT shown the PPT to your students? To your students? When have you shown the PPT to your students? When have you, have you shown, shown the PPT to, to, your, PPT to, your, PPT to your, your student? student. Okay, Luis Canales y Marianne, please repitan, repitan. Si no, cuando se les pregunte, por eso se equivocan, repitan. Okay. Um, when have you shown the PPT to your students? When, when have, have you done, you have you shown the PPT, the PPT to, to the students? students? When have you shown the PPT to your students? When, when have, have you shown the PPT, PPT, the PPT to, to, your, to student, your student? To your student. We have shown. When have you shown the PPT to your students? When have when you shown the PPT, 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 PPT to your students? Okay, let's let's go with the answer. I have shown the PPT to my students on Wednesday. I have shown the PPT to my students on Wednesday. Todos. I have shown, shown the PPT to my students on Wednesday. I have shown the PPT to my students on Wednesday. I have shown the PPT to my students on Wednesday. Good. Begin. Max, when have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my students on Wednesday. Good. As Elena. Elena. When have you shown the PPT to your student? I shown the PPT to my student on Wednesday. As Jenny. Jenny, when have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my student on Wednesday. Good, as Beatriz. When had shown the PPT to my student? Oh, no. Primero, el, el sujeto equivocado. <laughs> y después, el, el, también otra vez el sujeto equivocado. When have you shown the PPT to your students? Okay. When have you shown the PPT to your, to your students? There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I have shown the PPT to my students on Wednesday. Very good, Beatriz. As Ulises. Ulises, when have you shown the PPT to your student? I have shown the PPT to my student on Wednesday. Good. As Veronica. Veronica, when have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my student on Wednesday. Good. As Nancy. Nancy, when have you when have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my student on Wednesday. Good, ask Josabeth. Josabeth, when have you shown the PPT to your student? I have shown the PPT to my student on Wednesday. Ask Maynor. Maynor, when have you shown the PPT to your student? I have shown the PPT to my student on Wednesday. As Flor. Flor, then have you shown the PPT to your student? I have shown the PPT to my student on Wednesday. Flor, ask me. Okay. Teacher Tony, when have you shown the PPT to your student? Now you remember my name. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Thank you. I have shown the PPT to my students on Wednesday. Very good. Nice. Let's go with another WS question. Why? Okay, why? Very good. Why have you shown the PPT to your students? Why have you shown the PPT to your students? Why have you shown the PPT to your students? Everybody. Why have you, why have you shown the PPT to your, PPT to your, PPT to your students? To your students. Why have you shown the PPT to your students? 
Why, why have you, have you shown the have you the your, the your, your students? students? One more time. Why, why have, you have you shown the PPT to your students? To your students. I heard it. No, 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 not like that. Why have you shown the PPT to your students? One more time. Why have, why have you shown the PPT to your students? Okay, let's make the answer. I have shown the PPT to my students because they need to learn. I have shown the PPT to my students because they need to learn. Everybody? I have shown the PPT to my students because they need to learn. I have shown the PPT to my students because they need to learn. I have, I have shown the PPT, the PPT to my, to my students student because they need to learn. They need to learn. Very good. Nancy, why have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my students because they need to learn. Very good. As Josabeth. Josabeth, why have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my students because they need to learn. Thank you. As Max. Max, why have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my student because they need to learn. Good. As Ulysses. Ulysses, why have you shown the PPT to your student? I have the, I have shown the PPT to my student because to they need to learn. As Veronica. Veronica, why have shown the why the have PPT? you? Why have you? Why have you? Show the PPT to your student. I have shown the, the PPT to my students because they need to learn. Because they need to learn. Okay, as Flor. No. Why, why have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my students because they need to learn. Good. As Jenny. Jenny, why have you shown the PPT to your student? I have shown the PPT to my student because they need to learn. Good. As Elena. Elena, why have you shown the PPT to your student? I have, I have shown the PPT to my student because they need to learn. Good. As Beatriz. Beatriz, why have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my students because they need to learn. As Maynard. Maynard, why have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my students because you need to learn. Okay, Maynard, ask me. Okay, teacher Tony. Why have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my students because they need to learn. Very good, very good. Let's go with another established question. Todavía tenemos tiempo. Um, another established question. What time? What time? Okay. What time have you shown the PPT to your students? What time have you shown the PPT to your students? What time have you shown the PPT to your students? Everybody. What time have you shown the PPT to your students? What time have you shown the PPT to your students? What time have you shown the PPT to your students? What time have you shown the PPT to your students? What time have you shown the PPT to your students? What time have you shown the PPT to your students? Let's make the answer. I have shown the PPT to my students at 8 p.m. I have shown the PPT to my students at 8 p.m. Everybody. I have shown the PPT to my students at 8 p.m. I have shown the PPT to my students at 8 p.m. I have shown the PPT to my students at 8 p.m. Good, 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 good. 
Okay, Max, what time have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my student at 8 p.m. Good, mm. as Nancy. Mm. Nancy, tell me. What mm. time have you shown the PPT to your student? I have shown the PPT to my student at 8 p.m. As Josabeth. Josabeth, what time have you shown the PPT to your student? I have shown the PPT to my student at 8 p.m. As Ulysses. Ulysses, what time have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my student at 8 p.m. As Veronica. Veronica, what time have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my student at 8 p.m. As Flor. Flor, what time have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my student at 8 p.m. As Beatriz. Beatriz, what time have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my students at 8 p.m. As Jenny. Jenny, what time have you shown the PPT to your, to your students? I have shown the PPT to my student at 8 p.m. As Elena. Uh, Elena, what time have you shown the PPT to your student? I have shown the PPT to my student at 8 p.m. As me, Elena. Teacher Tony, what time have you shown the PPT to your students? I have shown the PPT to my students at 8 p.m. Good. Okay, that was nice practice, guys. That was good. You did very good. That did very good. Uh, actually, I congratulate you guys, Elena, Jenny, Beatriz, uh, Maynor, because you are new with this. I mean, uh, this is the first time that you're doing this kind of practice, and you did very well. Thank you. And you did very well. I congratulate you. That was nice. That was nice. Okay. And the rest, Max, Nancy, Josabeth, uh, Ulises, and Thor, and Veronica, you guys are not new, but you did very well too. So I give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Every, hey, everybody's a winner with me. Everybody wins. <laughs> okay, guys. That was very nice. Um, okay. So that was the class for today. Um, I hope that tomorrow you get connected. Tomorrow is our last class. Uh, by, you know, the format of English Corporativo is that tomorrow I explain uh, the final test, even though you guys already done it, right? Ya terminaron, sí? Toda la plataforma? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Thank you very much. Acuérdense que eso les aparta un puesto para el próximo año en, el pri en los primeros grupos que van a comenzar. Ojo, en los primeros grupos. So, I hope I see you next, next year. And we continue practicing and talking and doing a lot of things. And so I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank Have you very much. Night. Okay, Sleep like a bye. baby. And I'll see you tomorrow. Greeting for everything. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good night, guys. Good night, guys. It has been nice. Have a good night, everybody. Okay. Bye. 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 Have a good night, everyone. Sleep like baby.